So I want to tell you the story of the Ukrainian art that I just brought back from Estonia. So on Wednesday, uh, I was touring the old town and my local Estonian friend brought me to the Ukrainian uh, sort of church slash refugee center there um, that is run by this old man here named Anatoly, and that's his son Bogdan, uh, who translated. He's the one who speaks some English. Um, and we also met a young woman, also a refugee, um, uh, whose story I will tell you about in a little bit. Her name is Olha. So uh, as we walked through, um, we saw um, uh, volunteer women uh, doing a camouflage net to um, give to the Ukrainians. Uh, and then we walked inside and we saw this is a sort of homemade uh, bulletproof vest slash body armor for Ukrainian soldiers that they were sewing. Um, and on the right is just a very heavy piece of steel that they've uh, shown that it will stop bullets. Uh, you can see the bullet marks on there. So they're making these for the Ukrainians. Um, and then they showed us a very old school, almost ancient uh, paper making operation that they had um, that uh, where the they take the vat on the right uh, and then they pull it out and the red thing in the middle there is a press that squeezes out the water and it makes this um, ancient parchment uh, type type of thing that then they draw on and but I had no idea you know what they were drawing on um, but this is now a printing machine where you can see if you zoom in closely right there that's um, an um, an uh, artistic uh, drawing of something actually done by An Anatoly's other son who wasn't there. I didn't have a chance to meet him, but who's a very talented artist. And uh, here's another printing machine. Um, that's my uh, host, Indrek, uh, my Ukrainian, uh, Estonian host who, who brought me to the center there. And that's an old school uh, printing machine that they also have. And basically you can see here, um, printed on the this old parchment that they produce uh, on those earlier machines I showed you, uh, they print up uh, little pictures like that's the town hall uh, uh, in the old town of Tallinn there, um, the cathedral on the left, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's beautiful stuff that they just sell as sort of tchotchkes uh, for uh, for tourists who who come by to raise some money for the center. So they sent me home with some um, examples of it. Uh, I wish I'd had room uh, to bring more, but you know, ranging from sort of larger pieces down to you know, little bookmarks um, and tiny little pieces. So I thought that was really cool. And I said, you know, gee, I'd like to buy some. Then they pulled this out and I was completely blown away. Um, it's, uh, these are eggs. Each one of these is hand painted, and this is uh, Ukrainian, unique to Ukraine uh, form of art. And they had two of these. Uh, there's one, and here's the other. And you can just see it's just incredible uh, the the ornate and beautiful colors and patterns, and every single one of these is unique. And so I said, you know, I, I, I would have loved to buy the, this entire piece of art, artwork here, uh, but they said it wasn't for sale and there's no way I could bring it home on my flight anyway, but maybe someday I'll get, get my hands on it and have them ship it over or something. Uh, so I said, you know, can you uh, sell the individual eggs? I saw um, near the front of the church, um, they were selling them individually. And I said, how many do you have? And it turned out they had 54 small eggs and so they packed them all in a box here for me. And so I've got 54 of these little eggs. They had two mid-size eggs, probably double size right there. And then they had one enormous egg hanging up. And I said, you know, is that for sale? And he's like, no. And I said, well, name your price. And, uh, um, and this uh, piece is apparently done by a famous Ukrainian artist. Um, and who has trained the other artists who've made these smaller eggs, but this one is uh, unique. And they, the guy actually sent me a picture of this guy. Hold on, let me get a picture of him on my screen here. Do, 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 this guy. So this is the guy here who um, is apparently a well-known artist in Ukraine who's given up his artistic career and is now fighting on the front lines. And he's the one who did that enormous egg. Um, then I said, well, what else do you got? And uh, the young woman uh, said, well, you know, I've done a book of poetry. 
And so I said, well, can you show it to me? And so uh, here she is showing it to me, and I ended up buying uh, two of them. They're really works of art, not really books. There are only 24 of them, and uh, I got number seven and eight. And the cover is, you know, hand-pressed paper slash parchment. And um, she did it in conjunction with a Ukrainian friend of hers. And the friend is a poet, so wrote the poetry. And then Olha, the young woman who I met, uh, did all the art uh, in the book. And so uh, every page has poetry on one side, uh, Ukrainian poetry. And then there are little pieces of paper here, because this really is a beautiful uh, art here that Olha did for each page. So I'm not going to flip through every page here. But you can see it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful, this book is a beautiful work of art. And so I made a generous donation to, um, to her and to the center and um, came home with the only two of them that she had. Um, and she was just absolutely floored. I, I asked her, you know, how much are they? And she's like, I have no idea. I've never sold one. Um, so made a very generous donation uh, to her, and she almost fell over um, in such shock and happiness. Uh, so, so that's one of the two books of these I have, and I'm saving the best for last here, because then I said, what else do you have? And Anatoly and Bogdan pulled out a number of these books like this that are just extraordinary. Uh, the cover and the binding is made of leather and carved wood, uh, from, I believe it's the old town of Tallinn, like an old door or something like that. Um, and then they open it up, um, and uh, um, Anatoly has, uh, it's almost like an artistic scrapbook is the way I would describe this one. Um, but this one wasn't for sale. It was uh, put together, he put it together using um, things from the refugees from Ukraine. So um, all sorts of photos and so forth. It was really uh, quite beautiful. And um, uh, that wasn't for sale, but I said, do you have one that is for sale? And he showed me this magnificent thing. So this is what I brought home. Um, it has sort of two pins here that you have to pull out to open. Uh, and then this pulls open like that. Um, just, the, just the binding and the cover and all are, are pieces of art. And then uh, what it is, is is this is a book of nature pictures uh, done. The drawings are done by Anatoly's other son. And you can see the paper here is the kind of parchment that they hand printed there. And uh, every page uh, has Ukrainian writing and then translated into English. And uh, all the pages after the first one have uh, writing on one side and then uh, just an incredible uh, piece of art um, of some, some, uh, some animal or in something in nature. Uh, so it's uh, just absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I can see this as uh, something that someone would put on their coffee table that would draw so much interest uh, from anyone who saw it. It's just, um, it's just begging you to come open it up and flip through it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to sort of quickly flip through, skip a bunch of pages, but you can see just what a, what a, how incredibly unique and beautiful this is. So I ended up uh, wiring them on the spot, 4,120 euros for all of this. And uh, at, at whatever price they named, I didn't negotiate. It was for a good cause. Um, that this uh, some of that money will go to support this Ukrainian uh, church and center in Estonia, and some of it will go directly to the artists um, who uh, who did these uh, beautiful pieces of art, including uh, hundreds of euros to uh, this artist um, who's on the front line. So. Uh, my plan is, is is to do what I did with the children's art uh, from Criverie that I brought back uh, from my March trip and had the gallery showing in New York that raised $30,000 uh, that I immediately sent to Ukraine. Uh, I'm going to do that again with this uh, art, but uh, I don't think this is, I don't have enough art here to be worthy of a, of a showing. So I figure I'll put together this video, uh, take some pictures of it, and send it around to my uh, most generous uh, donors and the people who bought the Ukrainian art uh, a month or two ago, and see if we can raise some more money for Ukraine. So 
plan, Slava Ukraini.